Hello, it's Scott Manley here with an early look at the work in progress, the Kerbal Quest personalized rocket packs. Uh, personalized engines that will let any Kerbal fly around and show off their skills. So they come uh, as basically a part which you we attach to the side of a rocket. Once you decouple them, well, in theory, you got to figure out how to get into them. So you decouple them, reorient them, jump inside, and fly away. Now, this is the jet engine version. It uh, is an air-breathing engine that gets much better efficiency, so you get more fuel endurance, in theory. They have actually built personalized rocket engine systems, and they've been able to fly for something like four minutes, I believe, uh, the backpack versions. And honestly, they've continued to improve on these things a whole lot. But... As you can see, this guy is able to fly around without the helmet, of course, which is showing just how daring he is. He's actually also going to fly backwards, and let's see if we can bring it down in between these uh, concrete columns underneath the highway in uh, Eastern Kerbal City, or Kerbin City, whatever. Here we go. Get in under the highway just to show how controllable this is. It does have a special action group that lets you enable hover mode. Let's try and zigzag here. Whoa, excellent, you see? Really showing off his skills there. This is truly a Jebediah in training. Let's see if we can zip around this one here. Ready? And turn the other way. And, oh, maybe to it. Oh, crap. Well, okay, he uh, crashed, but he's still alive, so he's still a Jebediah in training. <laughs> good thing these guys crash at low velocity also good thing that he put his helmet on just as he crashed otherwise he could have injured his head eh? let's uh, try this again okay fly over what can we check out this time well, there's always buildings over there let's fly over obviously I'm flying with the curb and city mods that we have something to look at um, no child bothering me this time because she's off swimming with her brother Let's go and take... That's a very nice sculpture there. I had not realized that that was actually a sculpture of a rocket taking off. Uh, looking looking like it's taking off with quite a thrust trail behind it. Uh, clearly following the more boosters... Uh, the more boosters <laughs> proverb that all Kerbals love. Oh, look, it's Bobcat Industries. Aha, yes, I know their hardware and I love it. I love it indeed. Let's see if we can bring it down onto the roof of this location. A lot of parking out front for cars, not so many parking spots for rockets, but uh, you know, that's the thing about rockets, they can just make their own landing spot. You know, just incinerate the ground underneath them, uh, heat it up so that it melts and forms a nice glassy hardened surface. Okay, so let's uh, try and get this down. Now rocket packs, or no, sorry, uh, jet engine based backpacks uh, aren't really deployed largely because there's not much in the way of a safety system if thing goes wrong also they're very very noisy but uh, this guy clearly has some secret earplugs or something okay just drop it in there and oh nice he's back and he's got his helmet on excellent let's go forth in this next one this is a jet engine driven system with a, a hard wing shell this looks like a, there's a swiss pilot who, who built one of these things and he flies around i think he's flown across the english channel and now i'm presuming that he has an easier time steering it because of the way this guy is oriented i'm trying i'm having to use the yaw keys to roll but also the yaw keys are reversed so if i want to roll to the left I have to press D, and if I want... Ah, you see, I'm getting it wrong. If I want to roll to the right, I have to press E. Let's try not to hit! Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, where else can I go? Let's, uh... Oh, there's the airport. Let's go visit the airport. So maybe I can land this thing. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I, I guess if I tried to land it like a plane, I would be kind of running along on his nose, which um, might not be the best thing for him. Still, uh, maybe because it's small, maybe I can fit it through gaps that I wouldn't dare trying to take a plane through. I believe there is a gap in the structure, like between the floors of the, the airport. Let's see if I can get it. It's very small. Just get in. Oh, wait, there's a thing in there. Oh, crap. Okay. Haha, <laughs> but he survives. Yes, yet another wannabe Jebediah. Look at him. 
he is he is ballsy i have to say look at him he survives he loves to jump okay and so finally we have the honest to god rocket pack now real world rocket packs do exist and have been flown uh, on more on multiple occasions there's a couple of people that do it um real world rocket packs use peroxide as a fuel they use it as a mono propellant with a platinum catalyst and what they do is they heat the they heat the catalyst and as they pass the fuel oh 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 yeah well um good thing we're using peroxide as a fuel so we're not gonna pollute this water yeah because you pass peroxide over a heated platinum catalyst and it decomposes into water and oxygen at high temperature so it produces steam and oxygen both of which are relatively benign i mean you could burn yourself on it but you're not going to poison yourself as you might with other rocket fuels the rocket the the fuel temperature is a lot lower than you would get from say burning hydrogen and oxygen so um yeah that's why they tend to fly these things uh, with such simple fuel mixtures because they're relatively benign powerful enough and uh, very 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 simple all you can pressure feed the whole thing you don't need turbo pumps they're not cryogenic uh yeah they're they're great except that they only have about 20 seconds of fuel i mean and i'm not exaggerating 20 seconds i think they might have got it as high as 30 seconds worth of flight time so you pretty much have to get up there fly around and land uh instantly uh, I've seen guys fly at like parades and stuff like that, but they're generally, it's like, oh, I've got to lift off, now I have to fly off stage. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's uh, head over here and see what it's, oh, there's a stadium, somebody mentioned that I crashed into the stadium, yeah. Uh, it'd be really nice if this stadium was small enough that I could land my, um, my Ratol inside it, land my, land my rocket assisted um, cargo aircraft inside its uh, confines, okay. Now, um, that's nice. Back using a hover mode gives me some control here. Oh, let's not bang into it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's, let's fly forwards and backwards again because, you know, the nav ball is, is set up for somebody that's sitting in a sitting position, so it's kind of confusing. Okay, let's see if I can fly between those cables. That's, there's a natural hoop here, a natural loop. And I'm going to try sliding in between these. And yes, you see what a pro pilot there, huh? He is truly a match for Jebediah. Oh, wait, no! Cah, bollocks. Well, uh, yeah, so um, with that, that is all the three ones. That is Kerbal Quest. It's a work in progress. Check out on the forums. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.